you guys, Kay here. Welcome to part 23. All right, we need to get to Thompson's Crossing. Kind of the right way. Oh, perfect. Yes. Let's get on the bridge. to go. I'm not complaining though. Blizzarding. I mean, it's snowing, but I can see. Goodness. I wonder if, uh, wonder if Molly's still at the farmhouse. And I also wonder if she killed, like, that man almost looked like the man that was in the photo, like her husband. So my other question is, did she kill him or did something else kill him? Because she's being very dodgy. Like, I may, I don't know, I may be wrong, but I feel like if she didn't kill him, she would just say, oh, the wolves got him or, you know, he died of the cold. And I couldn't find him. I don't, I don't know. Just something like that instead of... Instead of mind your business. You know? Just a little curious about that. get up here we take a right
There's a fire over there. Okay, that would be very nice. Wonder if it's um Methuselah. Smoke. Maybe that community hall from the flyer. I hear the wolves. I'm surprised I haven't seen any, honestly. Empty. Okay. Got to be the community hall. Investigate. Well, let's look in here first. Nothing. like some sick people in there. I don't know if I want to go in there. I don't want to hmm. Okay. Whatever they have. Oh, wait. <laughs> she asked her. She's a doctor, right? She can help. do a little search room before we go in there. I'll take it. Yeah, all right. <laughs> we can always drop the books, but they're good for, uh, Putting in the fire. All right. Hello. Oh. Hey, folks. Oh, hello. Did you come from the crash site like the others? All the cots are taken, but you can sit by the fire, warm up a bit. Crash site? How did you know about the- The crash site. Don't you remember? Another one suffering from shock, maybe. I crashed, but days ago, I'm far from here. No, no. You crashed yesterday. In the hills. A terrible crashing sound. I even heard it over the howling blizzard. Don't you remember? Listen, I, I'm sorry. You must be mistaken. I crashed, but not here. Oh, of course. Well, please stay and warm yourself by the fire until we can figure out where you belong. What is this place? This is the old community hall in Thompson's Crossing. We gathered people here when the weather started turning bad. Three or... Was it four days ago? The houses became too cold, 
and it seemed better to bring everyone under one roof. Then yesterday, the crash survivors started showing up. So, these people are all survivors of a crash? Well, most of them, yes. There were maybe half a dozen people in and around the town site when the blizzard first hit. Over the past day or so, the rest have slowly arrived. Most of them from the crash site. What crashed? The passenger airliner, best I can tell. Most of the people who arrived were too weak to talk about it. But judging by the thundering sound and the size of the fire on the hills, whatever crashed up there, it must have been something big. Are you sure you don't remember the crash? How long do you think this weather will last? You're not from around here, are you? <laughs> Whoever named this area Pleasant Valley had a pretty good sense of humor. We get some of the harshest weather on all of Great Bear. But it's worse than usual? Yes. Another storm blew through about a few weeks ago. The worst I've seen in years. Blocked the roads in and out. I'm afraid we're stuck here until the road's clear. Will someone come to check on the town? Clear the roads so you can get out? I don't think so. Not anymore. We'll have to wait for nature to take its course. But what will happen to all these people? Honestly, I'm not sure. We're down to our last food. We can melt snow for water, but that will only get us so far. At this time of year, there's always another blizzard around the corner. Things might be different if the power hadn't gone out. The best thing we can do is try to keep these people warm and fed, and then we'll see what the Lord has in store. You seem disoriented, but you're in much better shape than the others. Maybe you can help us. I'm a doctor. I can have a look at the survivors and uh, see how to help them. That sounds like a good place to start. Once you've had a chance to check on them, come back. And we can try to figure out what can be done for them. <coughs> hey. All in star. So, there was another crash. Check you over. Okay. Can I pick this up? Oh, bummer. All right, Bennett's doing okay. Chloe. Ooh, Dimitri needs some help. This might be serious. I need insulin. Jeez, where am I gonna find insulin? Um, 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 okay, I'll go and let's see. <coughs> Alright, let's just, oh, there's a cooking pot that actually could come in kind of handy. Come on, there's gotta be, do you not have, oh, no, no, I don't want to leave. Oh, lucky day. Gosh, so many drawers 
and doors to check. Hope nobody needs this anymore. I think I have a storm lantern. Thirty-seven. This one's sixty. Well, this stuff will come in handy. I'm really worried about the guy that needs insulin. Just gonna see if I can help. Okay. <laughs> I saw a backpack somewhere, but I must have been. Check you over. Hypothermia. <laughs> Easy. Just going to see if I can help. Hmm. I'll see if I can help. Get some rest now. You need it. All right, I do have a bed, right? 76. Oop. Hmm. That one's 87. Now I can get my stuff a little bit better. I'm used to Mackenzie's clothes um, that he had on him that are really good. Hers are not as good. Well, I shouldn't say not as good. She just doesn't have as much as he did. So. Perfect. We want what she does have to be in tip top shape. To check that room too. There was another door that I want to look in. Definitely takes some time to repair. All right. Leather for that. <coughs> All right, that's a little bit better.
This will come in handy. Search for the Sasquatch cave. We can be. Darn. I was hoping there would be some um some insulin, but there is not. I've had a look at the survivors. Most are in fairly good condition, given the circumstances. These were the lucky ones. You'll find the ones who were less fortunate in the basement. May God take mercy on their souls. They died from their injuries, or were found dead. We put them downstairs to keep the bodies cold. And also, well, there are wolves around, you see. Yes, I've seen them. I think I can find most of what these survivors need, but there is a diabetic in the group. They're gonna need insulin and soon. Do you know where I might find some? That's bad news. No, I don't. This survivor has type 1 diabetes. That means their body can't produce insulin. If they don't get it, they'll eventually go into shock and probably die. Well, then we need to find some. And soon, before the blizzard becomes too powerful to even risk going outside. I need to remain with the survivors, minister to them. But you, you can go and look for the medicine they need. I will. Any suggestions you have would be very useful. Most of the surrounding houses will be empty but you may find some of the minor supplies you need to treat the survivors. The diabetic came in from the plane crash a day, maybe two days ago. So your best chance to find their insulin will probably be to find their luggage at the crash site. Well, how will I know which luggage is theirs? You'll have to search everything you find and hope for the best. Okay, you keep an eye on everyone and I'll be back as soon as I can. Thank you for your help. One more thing. Yes? Many of these survivors are in bad shape. From the crash, it's true. But I've seen this sort of thing before. People need hope to survive. And if they can't have hope, they need some closure. People here, Many of them weren't traveling alone. They're broken-hearted, worried sick about their loved ones, feeling guilty. Why did they survive when others didn't? You can help them find some closure. But chances are searching the crash site won't be a pleasant experience. I've seen death before. Yes, you're a doctor, so you understand the fragility of human life. The fragility of the human spirit is more my domain. For the ones who've lost loved ones, if you can bring them some closure, that will help to start their healing process. Yes, it's well known that the mind and body are inextricably linked. If you encounter any artifacts, any information that would help to identify those who did not survive the crash, that information might be a salve to these poor broken souls. Then perhaps they'll have a chance to face tomorrow. I'll do what I can to find IDs, documents, anything that can help identify the people who didn't make it. In turn, take this, my child. Oh, um, I'm... I'm not religious. Please, keep it. It's not for you. Please, humor me. I... I don't understand. At least until I can minister to those souls myself. Having you carry this rosary while you investigate the crash site, it would bring an old priest some comfort. 
It will be the closest thing to my being able to pray for them. I mean, no disrespect, Father, but do you really believe this will help? Perhaps in the end, faith is all we have. Amen to that. All right, let's... Ooh, I bet there's gonna be wolves. If there's bodies, there's wolves. All right, let's... How far... Holy mackerel. Well, that is quite a ways away. What is this? Hmm, should we try to go get Sasquatch? I feel like either way, we just may need to... I don't know. We may need to to do some resting. Do I, oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, let's um We're going to Jeez. Is it Molly? Probably is. So, you're still alive. So far, yeah. But there are people in town who won't be if I don't get going. You heading up to the plane crash? How'd you know that? You risked your life to come here to help some sick people. You came to help me when I was stuck in the barn. You're a doctor. You're not going to leave a bunch of crash survivors to die in the cold. I would like to help the crash victims, yes. <sighs> I wouldn't get your hopes up. A few days in this weather and with the wolves prowling? <laughs> Doubt you'll find anyone alive out there. Let's hope you're wrong. Yeah, well... I left you a little present. Look, I'm not sure... Relax. You have to trust someone, right? Would you trust someone with a dead body in their basement? Fair point. <laughs> but if you want to live, check out the trunk of that blue sedan over by the swing set. Well, okay. Thanks, I guess. Watch out for those wolves. Ooh, is it the bow and arrow? Is Molly kind of like... Ooh, Eminem. Uh, <laughs> is uh, Molly kind of like um, Methuselah? You know what I mean? Like how Methuselah was just like kind of always there. I think it's dark. I don't really know if we want to be going out right now. Oh, okay. All right. Well, we can at least go... Oh, oh, heck no. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. I don't... I don't want to go out the front. <laughs> um... Alright. Okay, there we're that way. Okay. Is that the sedan over there? Yep. back this way and I think in the next part we are gonna check out the Sasquatch cave even though I really don't want to but I'm gonna come back inside and that is where we'll uh, we'll end this and we will yeah we'll go check out the Sasquatch cave so uh, we'll see you then thanks for watching